uh, hi, I don't usually do YouTube videos, but uh, the locomotive demo's out, and I somehow had absolutely no idea. <laughs> I don't know how it's been out for seven days. Steam have had a whole, like, mystery fest. I had no idea. I don't know where I've been the last seven days, but I've been really excited to play this demo. I was going to wait till stream, but I don't stream until 9pm, and this demo should end at 6pm. So I was like, I'll do a little video on it, uh, because I really want to play it. Hopefully this demo isn't really long because it's midday and I have a lot of shit to do today. <laughs> so let's get into it. On the Roos Express, a passenger has been murdered and you're the prime suspects. Uncover a thrilling mystery and solve satisfying point and click puzzles to prove your innocence. A slapstick adventure packed full of deadly surprises, shocking twists and larger than life characters. Uh, the publisher is um, Chucklefish. And it's developed by Robust Games. It's in pixel art. I'm very excited about it. Now we can get into it. Okay, settings. Anything in here that I need to look at? Camera sway. I would like no camera sway. I don't think this game will make... I get motion sick. I don't think it'll make you motion sick, but we'll turn it off. Oh, <gasps> you can have just confetti instead of blood. Yes. <laughs> Hotspot visibility hold no R mode. Well, I don't know what that means, but the music's groovy. One major plus of this game so far is that the first time I opened it, it didn't open in full screen mode. It opened in windowed 1920 1080, which is all I want because I have like a big boy monitor and I, I don't film on it like full res. So, oh my God. All right, chop chop, let's begin, shall we? Arthur, stop your dilly-dallying. Oh, am I Arthur? Coming lady untowald. I'm not controlling anything. Thank you all for coming. Whoa. You know me as the aging heiress of the Waldban Empire. But there comes a day for everyone when you know your time is up. I've long desired to leave my legacy in good hands and after much deliberation... This game's still too loud for me. Ooh woo! <laughs> Looks like we're approaching a tunnel, Mom. Ugh. I do hope it's one of mine. Um, after much deliberation, it's my desire that the untowald estate be passed over in its etern entirety. Whoa, the painting. To ah. Oh my God. Heavens above, Auntie, no. Wait. It may just be a flesh wound. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to assume that doesn't happen on the blood version. And the confetti sounds are excellent. You're telling us that's how it happened, Arthur? Okay, we're reliving the past. This stinks, Bailey. It's got the unmistakable musk of... Guilt. Careful, Lamont. We're dealing with a lawyer here. Arthman Ackerman, attorney at law. Oh. Listen, Arthur, you're accused of murdering your own client. Awkward. What do you have to say for yourself? Ooh, that's not all pixely. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, my hands are clean. I didn't kill a lady untoward. I'm an estate lawyer. My clients have to pass on eventually. I'm warning you, I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> I believe I'm entitled to a phone call. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm warning you, I'm an ugly crier. Oh. Yet unable to shed a single tear for your client. A sweet old lady, tragically cut down in her prime. Is she in her prime? She was 89 years old. 
Oh, butthead. Hello. There you are, Mr. Ackerman. Kid, are you blind? We're trying to create an atmosphere here. Oh, just like me, trying to create an atmosphere. Because <laughs> it's midday and it's not night time yet. Just thought I'd check if our guest needs anything. Look at him tapping his foot. Our suspect, Jimmy, and we're in the middle of an interview. Oh, how exciting. I hope you land the job, Mr. Ackerman. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> oh no. Sweet boy. <laughs> Perhaps I can get a copy for our interviewee. Interviewee? No. Tea? Get out, kid. <laughs> I really love the art style of this. He seems nice. Oh, that damn coffee boy has thrown off the whole vibe. It's not as simple as it looks, you know? Oh no, don't have a breakdown. Remember the exercises, Lamont. Exercises? I am confident. <laughs> I have value. He was about to crack, I could feel it. I wasn't. Stay there, Arthur. Sure thing, I'll be right here when you get back. Oh no. We're gonna be able to move around, aren't we? <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, well that was a bit stupid, but... Looks like I'm chained to the desk. How were you not aware of it? What do they take me for, a common criminal? Yeah, I think so. Click to move Arthur in any direction. Oh, okay, okay. But my shackles. Read the certificate. Looks like Lamont won an award. It's a level three in athletic prowess. Oh my god. It's a photo of a very large Lamont behind the wheel of a very small car. <laughs> wow. I bet those keys would unlock these shackles. Yeah, bloody right. I could call for help. I now regret never memorizing anyone's phone number. I think about this often. <laughs> I only know my own phone number off by heart. It's full of cigarette buds. If I if my phone dies and I have to call someone, all I remember are home phone numbers that I've I've memorized since a child, and none of them are used anymore. Nobody has a home phone anymore. Third place runner up. <laughs> Most improved policing award. Third place runner-up? Okay. Borrow the desk fan? Oh. Well... Not like that. Oh. Okay, put that away. It was an article from Lamont and Bailey's first big case. Lum Lumbering Flatfoot goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Soul Criminal. A petty thief at the Shoe Emporium was quickly brought to heel this morning by Alex Lamont and his partner Justice Bailey. Careful. Yank at the... L mm. Let's read this first. This is a photo of me surrounded by a significant amount of red yarn. That's probably not a good sign. Let's pull the lever. Cronk. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a portrait of the late Lady Unterwald and I. To my eye, that looked like something different. <laughs> Maybe you can see it too? I won't say it. You won't catch me incriminate myself, tiny machine. Things look bad, but I'm not rooting through the trash just yet. Spec the lamp. Lamp used for interrogating suspects. I can still see the lights when I close my eyes. There's a front page study, study? story about Lady Unterwald. It's the end of the line. The Unterwald Empire came to a grisly end last night when the wealthy heiress was unexpectedly assassinated aboard her own train. Three suspects are currently held in custody, waiting questioning. That's you, bestie. You're in the news. Print media still has its uses. Oh, I'll click that. Okay. Grab a uh, image item or right click to in Ooh, I like the can I put these together? Oh it works. Wow. Get it, I guess. Whoa! We're sick! Admire crudely constructed air funnel. 
This should make the desk fan significantly more powerful. Okay. Can I get the key with that? Whoa. Okay. Now we have an umbrella. Wait, could I click the door? Sounds like Bailey is preoccupied with Lamont. Why don't we have a lock on that blasted door? Okay. So close, it's so far. Okay. Get the umbrella. Wow, what a, what a coat jacket. Come on. Nice first time. Easy. Hell yeah. Now what? I was taking care of. But I still need to find a way out of here. I don't think this proves your innocence, though. Press tab to highlight all objects. Ooh. Oh, did I look at the document box? It's a bureaucrat's dream, a box of neatly organized paperwork. Oh, there's a window. <laughs> it's a long way down. Perhaps there's a dumpster that could break my fall. Sure, I think they're coming back. Oh, shit. Oh, the coat rack on the ground. Let's try this again, Arthur. The whole story from the top. Well, it began, as all good stories do, with a hard-boiled yet handsome detective, with a series of gratuitous establishing shots, a chance encounter with a minor celebrity, an am ambiguously European locale with a minor criminal offence. Gratuitous establishing shots. I wonder if uh, whatever we would have picked would have been the first bit. Chapter 1, The Late Lady Unterwald. It all started at the Roos Express. The night was still young. I felt like the world was my oyster. Wow, what a nice train. I don't know anything about trains, but I assume it's nice. <laughs> I hope those oysters don't come back to haunt me. Oh. Wow, this is pretty. Okay. This way for dining carriage, casino carriage, lounge area. I love a good brochure, but I have to but I have other pressing matters to attend to. Eavesdrop on the conversation. Is this the Dirk Chisel Down hotline? Yes, I'll hold. Took me a second to read that there. <laughs> My bad. He looks busy. I can hear it in the walls, it's keeping me up all night. I assure you that the guests have not reported any scratching or squeaking, madam. Oh. Is this a do not disturb thing, but it's an S? Maybe the train, no, I don't know. It's a very generous likeness of Lady Underworld. There's not, a mu There's not as much wrinkles as the real deal. There's not as many. I keep forgetting that the text carries on without me. It's not me that's clicking to go through, it just carries on. So if I'm having another thought... I don't remember leaving my door open. Oh no, that's no good. <gasps> A man. Oh, there, that should do it. Hello? Ah! <laughs> Mr. Ackman, I presume? I was just... breaking and entering? On the contrary, my good man, I've been sent by our mutual benefactor, Lady Unterwald. Of course. If you come back the sink, it was like that when I got here. Oh, no need to be humble, Mr. Ackerman. Tis I, Herman Merman. <laughs> uh -huh. Acclaimed novelist, detective extraordinaire. Surely you've read the stories of my cases. Guess we're not a big reader of fiction, sorry. Indeed. Ah oh, well, there's a letter for you on the dresser. And the suit? Why is it moving so much? Oh, we're on a train. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a much needed change of attire. Look at him go! Those were Lady Untold's words. Although... 
What a strange man. What do you mean, although? Stare reluctantly at the suit jacket. Thought my brown suit was perfectly fine. Alright, let's look at this letter. Wonder what Lady Untoward has in store for me this time. Oh, suddenly bright. Wow, cool though. Ooh. Nice. Dear Arthur, please report to me at your earliest convenience. I have further amendments to make to my estate before the big announcement tonight. Oh shit. As you know, it's my desire for every passenger aboard the Roos Express to not only enjoy themselves, but depart with a tale worth telling. I read it too quick then, I didn't need to. While the flashy suit provided can be seen as a symbolic gesture of excitement and adventure, it's also a very literal one. Get out of those drab clothes and have yourself a good time. That's an order. Yours sincerely, Lady Untoward. Lady Untoward. I'm just going to turn my heater off. I don't know if you can hear it, but it makes clicking sounds sometimes. And that's annoying. Tiny portrait. It's a Roos Express guarantee. Ah, uh, all reliable. It's going through many a jam. Fluffy slippers. Take a long, hard look in the mirror. Looking neat and orderly. I don't think this is getting fixed anytime soon. Not a drippy sink. Alright, suit up then. Wow. Looking snazzy. I almost said that. <laughs> I almost said that on my own. Neatly packed luggage. This baby can hold up to 1,500 case files. 1,550 if I only packed two pairs of socks. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, one of my only stipulations for traveling long distances, you've got to have access to a trusty typewriter. Relatable. I don't know if we need to read all these, but I do like clicking on everything. There's something about it. I have just realized that I'm technically looking... I I watched a TikTok and it was like, your face cam should mean that you are looking towards the game, not away from the game. And I think technically I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> so maybe I'll be over here. And maybe this is better. I don't know. Is this better? Let me know. Well, let me know. Ooh, polite. Oh, I can knock on people's doors now? Let's inspect the room numbers. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> it's a fancy cop for transporting luggage. I've only ever seen these in hotels. So for kitchen, kitchen pantry, services. Let's go. Oh. What are you doing here? Are you a health inspector? He looks like a health inspector. No, I'm an attorney. Zoot, that's even worse. So much worse. I'm looking for Lady Untoward. Alez. La madame is the other way, avocat. Zaten, avocat. Okay, okay, I'm going. What does that mean? Oh, avocat just means attorney. I can't remember what the other words that they said. <laughs> I'm not sure what they said, but they were yelling it. It's true, they were yelling it. Whoa, I can run! <laughs> oh, if you double click, you run! <laughs> Hesitantly knock? Nobody. Keep listening. Don't make it obvious. Yes, detective, I have a case for you. Uh huh. Oh. Dramatic. Okay. I love that you can run. Speak to the twin. Hi there. Hello, hello. He was talking to me. Why would he talk to you? He was clearly talking to me. Well, I guess I was talking to both of you. Both of us. At once. How odd. <laughs> we can resolve this. Tunnels or bridges? I'm sorry? Which do you prefer? It's very simple. Um... I am afraid of heights, but I also don't like underground. 
So, but bridges have the chance of water, and water is nice to look at. Therefore, bridges. Aha, uh -huh, like-minded bridge buff. That's me. Ugh, he's a pontist just like you. You're just jealous because you're stuck digging holes in dirt. Oh yeah? Well, a bridge is just an oversized vanity project. Uh, they're a feat of engineering. <laughs> so are tunnels. Not the ones you make. <gasps> you spent half the budget on bridges to nowhere. They're still better than your pitch black caverns. I'm gonna go now. They both just did the tie at the same time. Please wait to be seated. Oh. Um, hmm. I guess it's more of a suggestion. No line cutting, hey! Hi, hello. Arthur Ackerman at your service. Suzanne Goldschmidt. Can I help you, Arthur? We're gonna have some fun around here. Do you think I'm that kind of girl? No, I mean, relax, I'm just messing with you. I'm under orders to have a good time. Any advice? If you ask me, there are simple pleasures in life we can all follow. Eat, drink, sleep, but I'm not sure I like where this is going. There's no need to be such a square, Arthur. I take no issue with the square. <laughs> Straight angles, all sides equal, perfectly reliable for a shape. Reliability, reliability isn't interesting. I prefer to talk with the people a little more rounded. I'm interesting, I'm rounded. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, there's an old lady waiting for me. Really? Well, I'm not one to judge. <laughs> what brings you around the Arus Express? You could call me a canary, I suppose. I'm the lead singer in a band. And yourself? I'm Lady Untoward's a state attorney. So, a paper pusher. It has its moments. Sometimes I get to use the rubber stamp. <gasps> Do I get to use the stamp? I have to go. See you around, Arthur. Goodbye, lady. Talk to the uncouth slob. Rude. Hello. Yeah, kid, I'll take another round of city juice. Oh, I don't work here. You actually chose to wear that get up? <laughs> well, not really, you see. There's this old lady who's told me to put it on, and I... Let me stop you there. I don't think I want to know more. <laughs> Besides, you're killing my vibe with that sweet patootie over there, you dig? Oh. Ugh. Gross. I hate men. <laughs> they look deep in conversation. And the best part is... The waiter didn't even have a clue. Ba ha 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 ha. It's a good one. Lemons. Are these lemons free? Do you actually want the lemons? Hmm. I might do. <laughs> I'll answer my question. Do I get a lemon or not? Hi. The name's wrong. Arthur. Can I help you, Arthur? Probably not. No. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, get the bartender's attention. Hello, barkeep. Evening, sir. Before I serve you, do you have any identification? Uh, no, but my mustache is coming through any day now. I know I look young, but I'm actually an attorney. Then you know the law. I can't serve you without identification. Ask about the corking device. What's this? It's a recorker. It reseals open bottles. Oh. Can I borrow it? <laughs> I guess. Hell yeah. Thanks. Uh, a slight note. Talking to this guy here, Ron, is he a reference from something? Usually when I stream, uh, people are in chat who know more than me, which is uh, usually every person in chat knows more than me, especially about re uh, like references. So if that's a reference and I've missed it, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Tell me the reference. Diane Ostenhagen? Pleased to make your acquaintance. I didn't catch what the last bit of her name was. Oh, it was Osterhagen. Lovely to meet you. There's not a large turnout for the big announcement tonight. Yes, I'm afraid Lady Unterwald is mostly estranged from her family. 
Is it because her personal lawyer keeps writing them out of the inheritance? Um, well. Relax, I'm due to marry into this family. And I can tell you they're all absolutely mad. Listen, I know who you really are. Huh? Or do you... Not here, there's too many witnesses. Take this and meet me at the rendezvous. A napkin? Is there something on my face? <laughs> You're not in a position to ask questions. What does it say on the napkin? Examine. There's nothing special about this at first glance. Oh. Okay. Can I speak to her again? Not here, there's two new witnesses. Maybe they'll rendezvous once you're ready. Oh, I can't speak to them, okay. Oh. Oh my god, she's being painted again. <gasps> the heart balloon! I'm not getting any younger, dear. Alas, you cannot rush perfection. There's nothing on the canvas. My apologies, am I interrupting? Not at all, Arthur. I'll be with you shortly. You should take but a... Moment. Ah, I see. <laughs> I see. I understand now. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, tremendous. I see even Arthur made an appearance. I capture every detail in the frame, madame, exactly as I see it. Well, I do wish you'd take some creative liberties, dear. <laughs> you don't want anyone thinking I've got this many wrinkles. As you wish. You can attempt another portrait during my speech if you like. Ooh. Arthur, I've just signed another amendment to my will. It's by the window. Of course, I'll keep it safe in the briefcase for now. You have to accept my apologies for all the cloak and dagger theatrics. The irony. I must confess I'm a little nervous about the speech tonight. Ma? I'm going to ruffle some feathers, but do you think any of them are cut out to take over the reins? Bickering sycophants, a lot of them. They're just waiting for me to kick the bucket, you know? Ooh, it makes my blood boil just thinking about it. Would you be a deer and open the window? It's getting quite hot in here. I need some air. Uh, Alright, open the window. Hope there wasn't something I was supposed to do before this. Oh no, close the briefcase. That happened in, like, slow motion. <laughs> Don't close it. Ah, that's better. I feel myself again. You might have just been the most useful person here, Arthur. It's good to know I can rely on you. Now it's time to gather the family. This old lady got a speech to make. Oh no, Arthur. Arthur, you could have told her. Oh no. I knew I should have upgraded to the anti-gust model. How could I have been so irresponsible? I didn't know Lady Underworld played an instrument. I've never been painting before, it all happened so fast. Let's hope all these coats are made from faux fur. There's a lot of guides and self-help books here. Oh, interesting. The model whisper note. Model 3 Whisper Note with patented quiet tap technology. Oh. Lots of bouquets here. Something I should have brought a gift. Yeah, your gift was throwing everything out of the train. These are a nice touch. <laughs> I like how it just says, enjoy the balloon. Just enjoy them. Full stop, the last word in cork plugging. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Don't worry about it. The will! It's caught on the window! I might still have time to grab it. Arthur! 
Stop your dilly darling. Come in, Lady Underworld. Arthur. Alright, chop chop, let's begin, shall we? You could have got it. Meanwhile. Are you sure you haven't just misplaced your room key, sir? Misplaced? Must I remind you of who I am? No, sir, you've been very clear. Tis I, Herman Merman. <laughs> Surely you've read the stories of my cases. Herman Merman and the Murmuring German. <laughs> Herman Merman and the Squirmin Chairman. Sorry, sir, not a big reader. Not even Herman Merman and the Sermon of Vermin? <laughs> no, sir. Good heavens. My point being, I don't misplace things, I solve cases. That's excellent news, sir. I'm sure you have no problem with the case of the missing room keys. Well... Yes, you're quite right. I smell a rat. I'm gonna stiff them out if my name isn't... Mammon, mammon! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a murder most foul. <gasps> Mr. Ackerman? Yes? As the estate lawyer, you are safekeeping the will and testament. You may hold the very key to revealing Lady Untoward's killer. Please hand the will over to me now. I don't have the will, but I can see it from here. I'm afraid I've lost the will. The will to go on? We're all grieving for Lady Untoward, Mr. Ackerman. But we must find the strength within ourselves. Nevertheless, I can continue without it. I've been watching tonight's proceedings with a keen eye. Mark my words, the, this malicious malefactor. Conniving culprit. <laughs> Christ, wrongdoer. We'll have nowhere to hide. We're approaching another tunnel. Oh dear. <gasps> What's happening to these tunnels? <laughs> well then. On now. Someone keep the lights on. Chapter two? Do we get to chapter two in this demo? Oh. Need to find out who killed Lady Untoward and I or oh, I could be the next one to vanish. You better get that piece of paper. Wait a second. Oh, damn. <laughs> they move towards the sleeper carriages. If I can get that back, it might hold some answers. First things first, I should probably check Lady Untoward's quarters. Wait. Her quarters? That are this way? Oh. Whoa. It's loud and annoying. <laughs> Dining, sleeper, kitchen in services. It's a fun way to lose all your savings. You're half right, I'm not having much fun. I think it said I imagined, but I just read the bit I wanted to read. I'm feeling lucky. We said that last time. Trust me, I've got a system. That's what they all say. Speak to the goon. Hello. Okay. <laughs> oh, scram, kid. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, sir. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to see that was another thing. Hey, I won't pay any attention. Hi there. <laughs> Just trying to be friendly. I'm afraid uh, the Roos Express has been slipping in standards for some time now. But to have vermin aboard the train if things got really that bad? I'm telling you, as big as a house cat. How revolting. Good evening, hun. Do you have any winnings? Oh no, I'm not the gambling type. Well, bring any chips to me and I'll convert them into cash for you.
What do you think of this? No thanks. <laughs> you can keep it. <laughs> Wait, can I give potentially everything to everyone? What do you think of this? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the guard. Sorry, sir, the lounge and beyonds are strictly off limits for now. There's a killer on the loose. I'm the only one who has access to Lady Untold's will. I could be next. No exceptions. Could you check Lady Untold's quarters on my behalf? Ah, no, I can't step foot in there on account of my allergies. Allergies? Fragrant sensitivity, they call it. A room like that, filled with pungent perfume and all those fresh flowers. Not taking my chances. I'm still Lady Untoward's attorney. Let me through. Sorry, sir. As I said, no exceptions. I have a letter from the late Lady Underworld right here. Hmm, this all looks to be in order. So can I go in? I'm afraid not. Oh, Lady Underworld has passed on after all. Pretty please? No can do. Tell me, it's pretty big again? With a cherry on top? <laughs> hmm. Alright, go ahead. What, really? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nobody's getting past me as long as I'm standing here. What would happen if uh, you set off your allergies? Oh, it's quite the sight to behold. I've been known to go beet red. Ha! Huh. That's why I need to seek immediate medical attention, of course. Oh. But I'd be fine. You would. Eventually. Okay. Interesting. I need to find a way to convince that guard to leave his post. Are you allergic to a corking device? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Let's run. Okay, you have to hold it down. <laughs> oh, wait, can I speak to this lady again? Rendezvous later, okay. Oh, a different man! I was the artist. I thought he had blue hair, not a hat on. <laughs> Monsieur, I lost everything. Sorry for your loss. You must have been very close. She owed me so much money. I was going to get paid after the speech. Oh. <laughs> what will you do now? No need to worry. To make art is to suffer. Are you in need of a speed painter? I'd need payment up front, of course. I can't afford to make that mistake again. I'll let you know if I need anything painted quickly. Thanks, Arthur. Okay, maybe what? Hey, kid, yeah? Hey, over here. The name's Donala, kid. But most people call me Don. Or Donny, you get my gist? Actually, you could be useful. You take this note and give it to the dame behind me, will ya? Ew, what is it? <laughs> It's a proposal of sorts, requesting we both make tracks to my suite. You get my drift? Right, don't like the sound of that. Why is it so damp? You don't know squat about wooing a dame? Oh, don't be in your pocket. Gross. What's on it? Reluctantly inspect no. Cost of watching to get the smell of cheap perfume out of this jacket. You're like, here, take this note to the person behind me. And the guy's like, <laughs> run it away. Didn't mean to just run into him. Looks like you have a secret admirer. Secret admirer? Let me take a look at that. This is explicit, I know. And the scent. It's so. Alluring, awful. <laughs> Wait, this note's perfumed? I believe so. Are you alright? Weren't you listening? I'm terribly allergic to fragrance. You've gone beet red? I have. I need to find a doctor right away. Don't go in there while I'm gone, Mr. Ackerman. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> this note's a potential biohazard. I wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. Nice. Get in there. Who would want to kill Lady Untold? I should look around for clues. Let's use our tab. Pry open the drawer. 
draw it stuck. If I wedge something in the gap, I might be able to pry it open. Like a corking device? Damn it. Thin and wiry, okay. Has moved recently? Wasn't like Lady Untoward to leave his thing out of place. Just roll up the rope. I like that I have to sometimes click on things multiple times. Oh my god, the rat did it, didn't it? That rat that we saw. A hidden hatch. I wonder what use Lady Untold had for that. Staring or the purple hatch. Is there anything I missed? The petal leaf? I'll just take a handful. Okay. Read the greetings card. Mr. Jian Lu? The secret admirer, perhaps? Jian, was that, did I say that right? Okay, I think we just need to look at this. The big metal hatch, I wonder what's hidden inside. The mechanism seems bespoke, there's a small cylindrical slot in the middle. Oh! Is someone in there? Who's there? Nobody! <laughs> Herman? Go away! <laughs> what are you doing in there? There's a killer on the loose, Mr. Ackerman. So, you're hiding? Merely a tactical retreat, it's all part of the strategy. Lower their guard, wait for things to blow over, and then I can strike when they least suspect it. You're supposed to be helping to solve the case. I assure you, I'm working diligently to solve the case, but I can't become part of the story. Not when everything points to me being another potential victim. Clearly know something, Hammond. All I know for sure is we're both knee deep in Lady Underworld's affairs. Underworld's affairs. We may never know that what she was ultimately up to, but it got her killed. <laughs> I have a strong desire to avoid the same fate. See yourself. Perhaps that anyone you saw me. Okay, fine. Wait, what did it, uh... Oh, sniff it. They smell like roses. It's lovely. What did I need? I put this thing and it was like... No, something... A petal? That'll help. Absolutely. Oh, no, sorry. A napkin. Okay, I figured we can't do that yet. I assume this is supposed to go in here. Oh, it doesn't match the shape. Big cylindrical slot in the middle. A corking device? <laughs> A petal. Maybe we need to come back here? None of these can go together, right? I don't think so. Maybe we do need to leave and come back. I'll be back. Just a quick short journey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Where am I going? Well, I don't think anyone's home. Let's go, go back to my quarters. Is there anything I missed in here? Probably. I didn't look at everything. Flip the light switch. That made me see something better. Closely at the picture frame. Legion towards eyes following me around the room. It's giving me the heebie jeebies. Art of law, letters of law, even coleslaw. <laughs> oh, that's one just a collection of recipes. God damn it. Okay, yeah, you'd like a typewriter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Peek inside the cupboard, we haven't done that. 
Put the maintenance hatch. No, no. Classic suit. And the drawers. Okay, fine. We'll turn the light on. Can I corkscrew the sink? Corkscrew that. Cork. Corkscrew the luggage. Corkscrew the typewriter. Oh, I have a hanger here. Well, damn it, it's probably what I needed from in here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to assume the hangers for in Lady Untowards. Untowards quarters. Oh. Did I click that? Must have done. Yeah, I did. We got a zoom. Yum. <laughs> Why do people think I'm a child? I don't get it. Just because I have no beard and go yum. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, let's try this in the drawer. Man, it's too thick. Oh, this one? Oh, tits. <laughs> there is always a point in point and click adventure games where I uh, become stuck. So let me just think about it for a second. <laughs> Does the... Do I have to talk to the lady that wanted to have that note, maybe? That's about what happened with Lady Untoward. Terrible business, all that. I have to go, okay. Let's try and give her the note. I've been asked to give you this. <laughs> it's still drippy. This is from the twit that's been making eyes at me all evening. I don't want anything from that goon. It's scented at least. You're right, it stinks of desperation. You can tell them I'd sooner jump, jump out of this carriage window than rendezvous with that rotten egg. Okay, I'll let him know. Okay, we'll let him know. You delivered my proposal yet, kid. Well, I had a boy. Just, you just watch and learn now. So, dollface, how about it? Ugh. <sighs> I don't write love letters for every broad I see, you know. You should be grateful. In that case, let me to show my gratitude. You see, kid, it's that easy. Burn him. Oh, all that even better. <laughs> see you around, Arthur. Oh, she going. <laughs> Ooh, he dropped a key. Ah, uh, unrequited love. Oh, I have his room key. Do I want to go there? <laughs> I should really return them to him. I love his little run. I don't know what his room key is. What does it say on it? Three o Honeymoon Suite 303. 301. 303. Oh my god, I guess he's not in here. What? I have a lot of questions. <laughs> First, these hearts, adorable. Slide the closet door. Oh, a wire hanger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need that. You can flip the light switch again. There's a little mouse burrow. Tiny entrance for an unwanted guest. Examine the mouthwash. Cool mint flavor. Advisory contains pure ethanol. Ingredients. Nothing in here I need. Grimace at the book of poetry. Looks like Don's been practicing poetry. There's no way I'm reading that. Hmm. <laughs> what a slob. Sometimes we eat food in bed, okay? It's alright. I guess Don's been winning big at the cas casino. Casino is almost what I said. Everything's just been thrown in there. They've set it into quite a hypnotic pattern. Ball bearings? That's a seriously powerful magnet. Yeah, I'll have that. Let's turn the light off. Does it do anything? I 
feel like at some point this lighting stuff will become uh, something that we need to do. Contemplate the heart-shaped bed. A bit gar garish for my taste, but this is the honeymoon suite. Oh, I like it. Champagne looks expensive. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to click that again. These are wooden casino chips. You can slide the door shut. Turn the light back on. Just the missing magnet. Beep, someone's coming. I better find somewhere to hide and fast. Hide in the closet? Won't fit in there. Ah. Uh, hide under there? I don't know how you fit under there, but it's fine. <laughs> That's enough, Donny. Not only are you drawing attention to yourself, you're about to bankrupt the damn company. I didn't tell you to fritter away her fortune, bet by bet. Between the two of us, I'm not the bad guy, you hear? Lady Untoward is dead. Don't you think they're going to start digging for a motive? I've hidden the accounts in her quarters for now, but it's only a matter of time before someone starts snooping. <gasps> I bet the old bat took one look at the numbers in that ledger of yours and the shock killed her. Ah, so it's all my fault. I suppose in your mind I bankrupt the company. I killed Lady Untoward? Don't be so absurd. We're done here. You're not done until I say so. Oh no. I have a feeling the authorities would find this very compelling. It's all my fault. <gasps> I bankrupt the company. <gasps> I killed Lady Untoward. Oh my god. You've been recording? When you're in the line of work, you need a little insurance. Consider it a, an incentive to stay in line. Besides, I've got a new scheme in play. I'm telling you, Bergman, I won't lose this time. You better be right. <laughs> Sounds like Bergman has fallen in with the wrong crowd. I should get my hands on that ledger in Lady Underworld's quarters. Okay. Wait, they didn't drop anything then, did they? No. No, they didn't. They showed the tape thing and that was it. See you later, everyone. Go. Oh, I can't talk to Bergman. Ah, Mr. Ackerman. I'm Casper Bergman, the treasurer of Lady Untoward's estate. Or at least I was. Can you believe it, Arthur? What a messy state of affairs we all find ourselves in. Do you know anyone who has a motive for killing Lady Untoward? I wouldn't like to take any guesses at this point. I'm ideally hoping to stay out of proceedings if at all possible. Nothing worse than making a target of yourself when we're all trapped with a killer. You're not in trouble with the Donny guy, are you? Would you? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you sure you seem kind of nervous? <laughs> There's a killer aboard this train, Arthur. I think we should all be a little nervous. I thought Harmon was going to solve the case. Any idea where he went? No, the man simply vanished. Rather foolish of him to paint that target on your back, though. The killer among us will surely be working to tie up any loose ends. Mm, you're looking like a particularly loose end, if you don't mind me saying. Gulp. Have to go. Oh, I really like their little celebration animation. Oh, he's cheating. He's betting and cheating. <gasps> Does he do it again? I'm not acknowledging. Seems to be doing well. Too well. Yeah, he's on obviously cheating. Why are we not saying something? Okay, in here, let's use the metal hanger on that. It's okay, keep it. Don't worry about it. It's the ledger that Bergman mentioned. 
I was just asking about those discrepancies. Should I? <laughs> Should I? Time to decipher. I'm sure we could find a lot of creative accounting in here. Damn it, I want to know. Do I magnet the hatch? We'll go talk to him about it then. Wait, should we talk to Herman Merman? That was his name, right? It was Merman. Herman? Go away. Shoot yourself, I'll leave you to it. I don't know when you saw me. Okay. I can't talk to him again. It's fine. Run! Imagine it's a fu Oh no, fuck. I don't mean to talk to this guy. <laughs> what do you make of this ledger? Can I ask you about this ledger and why you're hiding it in Lady Untold's office? But where did you get that? I'm no accountant, but I bet if we were to audit this ledger, the numbers wouldn't add up. Outrageous. I've never seen this person before in my life. This before in my life, sorry. Then I guess we should pass this over to the relevant authorities. Ah, listen, Arthur. I'm in a bit of a bind here. Shame to say, I've fallen in with a rather unscrupulous individual. Donny Donato? I'm afraid so. They've managed to exploit my weaknesses, you see. Doesn't the Cedric give you a clear motive for killing a Lady Underworld? I would never do such a thing. Besides, Donny's a bully, a swindler, and a cheat, but he's no killer. That said, he's concocted a new scheme to cheat the casino. I can't afford to lose more of the estate's money, Arthur. What do you propose? Donny is using magnetism to alter the result at the roulette table. If he keeps winning, the estate will be penniless. Help me out, Arthur. I'm sure the casino would handle Donny if you exposed his scheme. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. <gasps> Wait, I lost? <laughs> Stay here, pal. I'll be right back. Wonder where he's off to. Okay. There he is. I can't talk to him. I'll just follow him. Not suspiciously at all. <laughs> oh. Oh. You follow me, kid? Take a hike. Where do you get all those casino chips from? He's always a step ahead. No. I didn't mean to click on the door. <laughs> We're back in here. Is he making them or something? Maybe we just follow him again? Perhaps? Besides, it makes me dizzy. Put on uh, black. I should pick my moment. These people are stupid. At least you tried. Not again. <laughs> Stay here, pal. Come right back. The animation in it is so good. Like Don's heading back to his room. I should probably catch up to him. Can I go past him then? In this room? Looks like Don is heading this way. I need to go in, hide under the sink. Oh, I tabbed out the game. <laughs> okay, he does it himself. Good, good. Damn thieving casino. 
supposed to be stealing from them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah, uh, no matter. Still got plenty of chips left. Should be enough to get my winnings back. And then some. Oh, sneaky. Secret panels right around here. Oh my god, that's a lot of contraband. Let's confiscate. Yoink. <laughs> that should be all of them. Close the door. I should put a stop to Don's scheme. Close the door. What are you... Clo <laughs> Definitely shouldn't leave the door open. But okay. It's fine. Let's try this one more time. Okay. It's time to feel like bad luck, kid. Step away from the table, pronto. I ain't messing around no more. All on red. That's not possible. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, excuse me. This damn watch must be on the fritz. At this rate, I'm gonna run out of chips. Wait a second. No. I've been robbed. So this is what it feels like. Okay, Don. The jig is up. I owe a lot of money. No need to panic. I can jump off at the next bend. Maybe cross the border. <gasps> Greetings, Mr. Donato. We m might we ask you a friend might we ask to have a friendly chat about your most recent gambling activities? Sure, sure thing. The most unscrupulous individual is gambling with counterfeit chips. For fake chips? We suspect this individual has also taken a creative approach to magnetism. An unsanctioned sanctioned use of physical phenomena. M -m magnetism The capacity to attract and repulse forces between objects. I wouldn't know anything about that. Then allow my associate to demonstrate. Oh. <laughs> Eee! Ooh! <laughs> wow, 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 ouch. Oh, I paused the game again. I don't know where my mouse is in the cutscenes. I guess the house always wins. <gasps> Psst. Over here. Right this way, sir. Oh my god. Hello? Welcome, Mr. Ackerman. Uh... Who's this guy? The uninitiated one. Who? You know, the idiot. What's going on here? Come forth, my child. Take my hand, let us see what the future has in store for you. The future? Ah yes, I see it now. A foul concoction will bring you close to the truth. I feel like this is when the screen's meant to shake, probably. Beware the doppelganger, for they will be instrumental to your undoing. Oh. Unaware to all, a dangerous secret has been hatched. That which is lost must be found. Three at odds must come together to break their chains. <laughs> Good fortune will come to you, but at a great price. But what does it all mean? Well, I don't know, do I? This is just the demo. <laughs> Alright. Was that the end? Ah, oh, shit. They did it. They did a good job at cutting that off and, like, uh, 
a tension building Welcome moment. aboard the Royce Express, where my guests indulge in luxury travel, fine dining, and mega. <gasps> well then, who's at hand to catch my killer? There's my trusty lawyer, a would-be detective, and Her Majesty's Secret Service. And Ooh. there's just one problem. They're the suspects. With puzzles to solve, palms to grease, and clues to uncover, they'd better prove their innocence fast, or it's the end of the line in an adventure that's not just nuts. Hmm. It's locomotive! <laughs> That was very good. I really enjoyed that. I 100% will be getting this game. Uh, I really fucking enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, I probably edited this down a little bit, but it took me about an hour, 12 minutes to complete. And I think that is a great amount of time for a demo. I think it cut us off at a really good point uh, to make you want to play more. And I definitely want to play more. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. I stream uh, like every other day at like 9 p.m. on Twitch. So come and hang out with me there, maybe. Sweet. Bye.